the other tool that I would say like I did in the early days, which was incredibly effective, was um, the NPS survey. So I used promoter.io, um, which is a NPS software. And NPS is just like net promoter score. It's trying to figure out who loves your product versus hated, hates your product. And the way that I use that, I, I funneled that in through um, Intercom as well. Um, you can have conversations directly through the, their tool or through Intercom, but um, you send out a you know one to 10 rate us, and if they rate you a one, then you say, well, why, why did you rate us a one? What would we have to do? Obviously, we fell short, I'm sorry. What would we have to do to earn you know, a seven or an eight? Or if they rated you a three or four, you know, sorry, we fell short. What would you have to do? What would we have to do to rate us, you know, for you to rate us a seven or an eight? Or if they rated us a seven or eight, you'd say, what would we have to do to rate us a nine or a 10? And if they rate us a nine or a 10, you can say like, hey, look, we have this customer testimonial form. Um, could you give us a testimonial? So in that, every single person who's rated you one through seven or one through eight, um, you can send them a, a custom message, which you know incorporates, uh, maybe they gave you feedback, maybe they didn't. If they gave you feedback, you can incorporate some of their language into why you fell short and have that conversation. But I literally had over 700 two-way conversations with you know either paying active members or previous uh, members, right? And a lot of them hated us because of how our site was two years ago, right? or uh, one year ago, and we're like, hey, we have that feature now, and they're like, oh wow, that's awesome, like I'm gonna try you guys again, and then bam, like they're, the next time they rate you, they rate you much higher. Um, so I think the running theme for me is, no matter what it is, whether it's, you gotta listen to that, and if it's praise, obviously put that on your, uh, on, on your, uh, in your email campaigns, or your, you know, your website or whatever, but if it's hate, make sure you really pay attention to them and listen to them because they've got great advice on how you can uh, make your product better. And these days it's like, you know, every day we get tons of customer testimonials. You know, I got a job, I got a raise, I got a promotion, whatever. I was able to build this app, you know, I was able to build this company because of what I learned from your stuff. And, you know, that praise is, is great. And it really boosts the team morale. But I'm always like, I, I always am like, okay, that's great. That that's piling up all this good stuff. But like, where's the hate? Like, I'm always trying to find it um, because I'm trying to trying to figure out how we can solve it. And I think um, as you solve that stuff, it's just the customer testimonials just keep rolling in more and more. And you know, like right now, I'm like, where's the, where's the hate? Like, I'm trying to find it, but I can't find it anywhere. You know, our product has really come a long ways in the last you know five years. And so now it's time to to turn on the sales and find a you know some sales support help, some, you know, uh, a sales type uh, sales engineer, or whatever sales person and start to m focus more on growth rather than, you know, sort of the the solving the hate, right? There's yeah. obviously a lot we can do to grow and and uh, we're excited about all the, the new topics and things that we can record and, and grow in, but certainly like the core product is, is pretty solid because we've listened to all that feedback.